Hey everyone, Trey Amick from Magnet Forensics here, and today I want to walk through Axiom's ability to acquire public Twitter data without the use of any account credentials. Running Axiom 3.0 or later will start and process as normal, setting my location for my case file, then selecting evidence sources. We're going to go to cloud, Twitter public activity, and for this use case, I'm going to actually use my own, so I'm going to do at Amick underscore Trey. Make sure when you're using uh, the Twitter public activity pools that you always uh, place that at symbol for the username. We're gonna hit next. Now that we have my account added, we're gonna go on down to cloud artifacts. And for this, we have Twitter. We're gonna make sure we have the users public, users post public and the post along with direct messages, even though the big difference between doing the public acquisitions and the typical Twitter polls is that you won't get those messages uh, when you are doing the public poll, only when you actually put in the username and password for that account will you get those direct messages. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and hit go to analyze evidence, and we're gonna hit analyze evidence to start off this case. Now that Axiom process has started the acquisition of my Twitter account, we'll go ahead and wait for it to be complete, and then we'll move on to Axiom Examine. Now that we've acquired my public Twitter account information, let's take a look at the information that was available without the need of a password. So we are in Axiom Examine. I have my Twitter account pool, and we're gonna go from our case dashboard view over to our artifacts view, since we are in a artifacts first uh, approach company. We have cloud Twitter users public, and as you can see, here's the first one. It's my screen name with the bio, and if we scroll down the details pane, we can see my bio, how many friends I have, my location, my like count, how many pieces of media I've published, uh, along with my web URL, and when my profile was created. So a lot of good information right there, right off the bat. We can also start scrolling through and seeing other names. So for instance, we have Tara Melton. She's one of our forensic cult, uh, consultants here at Magnet. And as you can see, we can scroll down and see that she is uh, following my account as well. So this is great for your investigation if you're trying to track down other people who are following uh, your potential suspect. If we move on over to Twitter posts that are public. We'll select that. And as you can see, here's uh, one of my posts that I posted uh, and mentioned Heather Mahalik. Uh, telling her about the Dry Tortugas National Park uh, down off the Keys. So lots of good information, once again, that we can start digging through to see what all has been published, who all have been mentioned in their post, uh, as well as potential locations. Uh, so once again, uh, we can keep digging on through here. We're going to actually go over to Media. Looks like we have 744 hits. From Column View, I'm actually going to go ahead and switch to Thumbnail View. And now we can start seeing people's profile pictures. We can also potentially see pictures that I've published to my own account. So here's one of the knives that I've published. Uh, and once again, a lot of good information that can be gleaned all from publicly identifiable information that you didn't need a search warrant for and that you didn't need my credentials for to be able to acquire. So that's all I have for now. Thanks for joining and we'll see you next time.